My name is Daniel Groverson and I'm from App Member Site. And this short video will just give you some of the insights that you need to have before you can find a domain name for your website, for your membership site. So I'm part of an app member site and there I've collected a bunch of video about what all the different things you need to know before you can start and sign up as, as and create a membership site. So go into appmembersite.com slash free and sign up and get even more of these uh, videos that will teach you a lot of the different things you need to know about membership sites, what it is and what you have of different experiences here. So. I've just been covering uh, the domain name and well the domain name is really important for you because well it's your brand and you have to care about it um, it's something that you're going to brand your product with for a long period of time so that's why it's, it's important for you that it's something that resonates with you and you find is useful and give, well, I guess it's the last point, reflect on what the site is about. Um, my, my, my company name, for instance, is Figaf and I have the figaf.com, but it's not relating to anything of what I'm doing. So it's not giving a lot of value in that perspective, whereas for a membership site, it needs to reflect much more about what this product is because it's a lot about your um, findability in Google and keyword analysis that needs to be in, inside of this. Um, so when people are searching in, in my instance here for, for PI course, they can see my uh, my product or my service and that's what I want to reflect in that. Um, the domain name has to be easy to spell and something that people can, well, I'm not native English so if someone uses an English name or really targeted thing, I may not be able to spell it and then not get into your website. So find something that's easy to spell and reflect what it is that you're, you're doing. The, the idea for this, well, you have to have, to, to create the good idea, the good domain name, you have to have an idea of what it is that this should be about. Um, so normally I would create the product outline, figure out what it is I want to cover and then f brainstorm a lot of different names around this area. What can I do here? What it is? What is it? for an idea, what is it that the users should learn from this course? And then I try to, to fit that into the domain name and also targeting something about what people are searching for. If people are searching for a PI course, well, then that is a good idea to use that because that's what they're searching for. Maybe something about what is the idea, what's the result that you're after, getting slim fast, whatever. Uh, the, the normal way to, to put up this is, is something like a product name, PI, bootcamp, PI, course, and append these different suffixes to this. And that could, could give some, some different ideas for, for products that, that you could use or the name, main names, because they not, may not all of them be free. And well, you sometimes, Maybe sometime you want to buy the domain name if, if you know it's really a core thing, but, but many domain names is 500 to maybe all the way up to 100,000 US dollars. And you don't want to spend that much on a domain name for a membership site, unless it's, I don't know, some, some sixth thing or something else that, that could be giving that that uh, financial thing that, that could give that kind of income that, that supports that. Uh, a good service for finding domain names, all the, the major websites or dealers, they uh, uh, hosting companies, they do have a service where you can enter, I want this domain, is it free or not? But I find it's not really useful and it's 
taking too long time to search for it because it's not targeted at at searching for a lot of domain names finding idea it's more like i want this is it there no and then that's easier so i do like uh, this paneer and let me just see if we find it and here we have and so for instance if we search pi pi course give some different ideas it's a okay this is free great i'm just buying it now and then it gives some different ideas that could also be used and international national domain names uh, so this gives you a lot of different ideas on uh, app costly that some of ideas on what could be relevant for for having the the domain name so now we have found a domain name and and well this probably will take some time and, and do spend the time on it because uh, it's difficult to rebrand it's possible to rebrand the domain later but it takes a lot of time and you have to really know what you're doing if you want to change it later on so do spend the time up front finding the the right way to to name uh, what it is that you want and then when you have found the, the domain name that works um, you'll go to to your hosting provider uh, either go to to green geeks i do like them um, they do have a solid easy to do hosting that that supports a lot of uh, features uh, the other one is uh, dreamhost and they also the the reason i like green geeks more is it seems that when i tested that they they work a bit faster that may be which server i'm placed on or a lot of different factors involved in it so it's it's difficult to say uh, their panel is a bit easier to to manage and you don't you can do a lot more from that whereas on the dream hosts it's a lot some more technical um a big difference between this is on dreamhost you can just buy it by domain names online where in green Geeks you have to send an email to support can i get this uh, domain name and then say okay we'll charge your credit card it's not a big problem um if you go to to uh, dreamhost and use the coupon code app member will give you it will give you 20 percent off the first year and 40 percent or 40 20 dollars off the first year and 40 dollars off if you buy a two-year contract um and when you sign up for, for each of these uh, they will give you a, a domain name and then there you can be using this domain name that you just found out was relevant and will take 15 30 minutes to to in install and get the domain name activated and then you can actually start populating the the data or the domain name with what you want and then that's going to be installing wordpress on i'll just go through what you need to do when you want to install WordPress on any of these uh, systems. And the last one, if you want to have more of these free videos, go to appmembersite.com slash free and get these uh, reports on our videos about what you need to do to create the, the perfect membership sites where people can sign up and get all the information that they need. Thanks, and I'm really looking forward to, to helping you get even more out of your membership sites.